are keeping up with the Klee Kai. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Look at all these puppies. Um, I did adjust my sound since last week. We were kind of loud when the puppies went nuts. So if it is too low, you guys have to let me know. Um, but today we are going to talk about puppy teething and biting. And what better day to do it than with all of these puppies because you're gonna see them biting and chewing and all that good stuff. Anyhow, if you guys are new, welcome. My name is Desiree. Please type new in the comments below so that we can welcome you guys. And just a few housekeeping rules. If you guys are new, you guys can ask questions in the comments. We just ask that you put three question marks before those questions so that I see them because we get a lot of comments and sometimes everyone's talking back and forth and I can't read through everything and run the show. So I will miss you if you don't put those question marks. Um, and let's get started. I know first things first, right? Puppies. So Angel's puppies and Cessna's puppies are in the playroom. I had to rearrange things because I'm running out of space. We got too many puppies. Um, but they are in there and let's get started. Oh, I guess I should. You guys all know about Super Chat Super Stickers. I don't need to go over that. I don't think. All right. I got, they're crying behind us. We'll see. So first off, I want to say a big thank you to Safety Chew. Um, for those of you that don't know, Safety Chew is a company that made the um, the bully stick holders. And I reached out to them because one of our puppy owners sent us some. And we ended up working out a great deal to get everyone who came to the party last weekend, our reunion, um, one of them. And all of the puppies in the playroom right now have them. But um, they are sponsoring this video. And so I just want to give a shout out. I did put a lot of information in the description of this video so that you guys can click the link, um, but they are giving a 10% discount to anyone who's on here that clicks that link and um, hops on. Oh, I better make sure the sound is off. There it is. Um, so it's peak of 10. And anyhow, thank you, thank you to Safety Chew. So let's get started. All right, so why do puppies bite and chew on everything? Like they chew on our hands, they chew on our clothes, they chew on the walls, they chew up everything. Um, so you guys have, first you have to understand why they're doing that so that we can address the situations. If we don't really comprehend why, then it's harder for us to be able to figure out what it is they're doing and, and fix it. Um, so naturally puppies are going to explore the world with their mouth. So when they're little and they're with their mom and they're with their siblings, what do you guys see every week on here? Puppies chomping on each other and shaking their heads and playing with mom. Um, but that's just the way they express themselves. That's the way they get attention. And uh, that's the way they play. And so they might bite down pretty hard um, on their siblings. They might also bite pretty hard on mom, but mom will tell them and their siblings will get mad enough and tell them if they are biting too hard. And so they start to learn um, what the pressure is that they can use without really intentionally hurting because the puppy isn't trying to hurt the sibling or the mom, right? Or even us. Um, they're just trying to play and socialize and communicate and get attention. So um, first we needed to know that. Thank you, Catherine. Wait, what? Do you have a question? Oh, you're so welcome. We we do have a, a picture um, of the reunion and we'll, we'll share that here in a little bit for all of you guys that are interested in seeing that if you're not on social media. But thank you, Catherine, that is amazing. Um, we are, by the way, going to give away a Safety Chew uh, packet here in a little bit too. So keep that in mind. All right, so back to what I was saying. Um, so we, we need to make sure that the puppies know because when they leave their mom, dog, and their siblings and they come home to us, they only know what they've been taught for the first eight weeks. Oh, shoot. I threw away that little key. Dang it. River lost a baby tooth. And I was going to show you guys since we're talking about teething. And it was wrapped in a napkin and I threw it away. 
that was my distraction. Um, back to what I was saying. So they only know that they are supposed to fight their siblings, fight their mom. And so when they come to us, they think that that's the same way that they interact with us humans um, for attention, for playtime, for teething purposes, for a lot of reasons. So um, we have to teach them that that is not okay and that it hurts us or it hurts our children, right? And we don't want them chewing up other things. So how do we do that? Um, there's a lot of ways we can do it and there's a couple different things that we need to know. Is it that they're teething or are they eight weeks old and this is just all they've known for the last eight weeks and so we're trying to correct that. So first let's talk about first things first because they're normally not gonna be teething at eight weeks old and losing their puppy teeth. It's more, this is all they know and so we have to redirect them. And so this is what you guys should be doing. So you want to, um, first of all, if they bite you and they're not just mouthing, right? Like if they just put your mouth on their mouth on your hand and they're not putting pressure, that's one thing. Thank you, Heather. But if they are actually putting um, pressure and hurting you, then that's where, okay, we have to remove ourselves from that situation and so if that's our hand, that's our whole body, that's our clothing, that's everything. So we have to ignore them and remove ourselves from the situation. So in a sense, that's kind of a timeout for them or no more fun time, right? So we're pulling out the fun. That's over until they can learn. And remember, it's all about repetition. So we have to slowly but surely continually do this to teach them that that is not okay with us. Now, it doesn't always work and it doesn't always work right away. So just because you do it two times, three times, Elle was saying that there was a question. Yeah. yeah. Can you let her out real fast? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Heather. So we're going to take a real, real fast, fast break. Nala is crying because she wants to go out, which is surprising because she never wants to leave her little baby. Um, but since she does want to go out, we will grab her and let you see her. For those of you who don't know, Nala's my tiny, tiny little girl, and she is almost two. She'll be two in about a month. And she had her first litter, one itty bitty little girl. So we're super excited, and she is mother hen to everybody. So kind of nice to see that she got her own baby. So yes, I'll show you guys her. Um, so I know I keep getting distracted. I apologize. So we are going to ignore the behavior, right? If that behavior doesn't stop, which I was saying doesn't stop right away, it's all about repetition and continuing to do it over and over again. So every time you see this bad behavior, and this goes to any behavior that's bad or something that you guys are wanting to try to prevent and avoid, then you have to just continually teach them the answer is no avoid the situation replace your hand with something else whatever it is they're doing and it will take a lot of time um, but if the behavior is hard for you to ignore then you have to be strong enough to say okay i'm going in a different room i'm putting the puppy in timeout. i'm going to put her in her crate and let her take a nap um, a lot of times puppies are nippy or bitey because they're actually tired they're cranky um, so keep that in mind. You guys need to know your puppy's schedule. We talk about schedules and routines, right? So you should know uh, it's been three hours. She really just needs a nap. Um, so let's put her in timeout and give her, her her space. So keep that in mind. You should see um, you should see a major decrease in the intensity of the biting as well as the amount of biting attempts within a few days. So if you're consistent, right? Can you get her baby? Because she's out? No. Oh, I mean, you just let her go potty? Yeah. Oh, can you let her over here and grab her baby? I told I, I told Heather I'd let her see. Um, so, so if you guys are consistent and um, everyone in the house, right? Everyone has to be on the same page. If you guys are consistent in that, within a few days, you're going to start to see some changes in behavior because now it, it's not going, if it's not being reinforced, like let's just say she's biting and you keep petting her and you keep loving her, then you're reinforcing that behavior. 
But the minute you take away that reinforcement, the minute you take away the attention, the minute you take away the toy, whatever it is that she likes and that she's doing, then she's going to start to realize that, oh, I don't get this if I keep doing that. So they are smart. They're going to associate them together. And over a few days, you should start to see some, um, some changes. Now, if your puppy doesn't do that, um, then you are going to have to be um, really keeping a schedule to pay attention to what's really going on. Is she really teething? Um, is she actually have a bigger behavioral issue? Is she showing signs of aggression? Is she, <laughs> hi mama. All right, look at, I'm gonna change the camera review for you guys um, so you can see real fast. So time out, we're gonna take a quick, quick little break to show you guys. Oh, wrong one, look at, look at the boogers. I don't know where my, I don't know where my camera is. Where am I? She moved me, oh. Alexis moved everything for me. Um, Nala, is this your baby? Is this your baby? Let's show him. Let's show him your baby. Look at that precious little girl. So for those of you guys who know um, what Nala looked like as a puppy, the lighting might make look like she's a little darker than she is. Um, she kind of looks black, but she's not. She's gray and white. She's just a dark gray. But she looks just like Nala did as a puppy. Just like her. Nala, you want to come say hi? Hey, you want to say hi? Is this your baby? Yeah? She's like, whoa, what are we doing over here? Yep, that's her. My little 11-pounder. Huh. All right. Thank you, Sue. Okay. That was our quick intermission. You guys got to see Nala's baby. So I was like, what is going on? Oh, she wanted to say hi. She heard us doing the live and she's like, wait, why am I not in there? Thank you, Madison. My goodness, look at all this. All right, I'm going to put her. Actually, my husband's going to put her back and then he'll come and get the baby. Hi, baby girl. Hi. All right, I'll let him put her back and then he'll he'll come and get her. Um, okay, so if you don't see, I know I'm jumping all over the place. If you guys don't see um, any decreases, then again, make sure that you're paying attention to the schedule, what's going on, is there something more? Um, do they have a retained baby tea? Um, do they have to take a nap? Thank you, honey. Do they um, just get bored and they're doing that because they're bored and they want attention? So pay attention, okay? So you guys need to make sure that you're giving your puppy a lot of attention and praise and reward when they are actually doing what you want, right? So if if they are slowly stopping the teething and the biting, thank you, Karina. Thank you guys for the super chats. Um, then you guys are gonna be able to say, okay, um, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Now you're getting the praise. Now you're getting the reward. Now you're getting the attention and that you don't have to bite and teeth in order to get that attention. So you're redirecting them, right? You're teaching them something totally different. Oh, my baby boy is on. Um, for those of you who don't know, Brayden's gone. Brayden went to um, go work up north. And so he is... Um, He's not home anymore. He moved out. Well, he'll be back, but he's gone. So I just want to say hi. Hi, bud. Okay. So I need to stay focused. I'm bouncing all over the place. Um, so make sure you give lots of praise and reward for the good behavior and make sure that everyone in the family is consistent with what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And then if, if, um, if all of you guys are consistent and you're all doing the same thing, it's going to work. I promise you it's going to work. Okay. So why does this work? Um, the behavior works because, um, if dogs do things because it's reinforced, right? So all of their behavior, if, if they're pulling on the leash, it's because they are allowed to do it. They're not told anything differently and they walk all over us as owners 
and we allow it. And so as long as we allow it, they keep doing it. So we are reinforcing those behaviors. I hope you guys all saw the little white puppy. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, if you didn't, rewind for a second. And do me a favor, guys, give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. I see we have 77 people right now, but yeah, we have 27 thumbs ups. And remember, we're giving something away here shortly. Um, so why does it work? So because if we don't reinforce it, then they quickly learn, okay, I'm going to do something that's getting reinforced. I'm going to get, I'm going to do something that's getting praise. Um, and then your pup's going to learn that we don't react to biting. Um, when we're playing or whenever we want attention, even negative reaction. So we're not, even if they are biting us, we're not yelling at them. Um, we're not punishing them. We're just ignoring them. We're pulling ourselves out of that situation. And another thing you can do, okay, there's a couple of things. So you remove yourself from the situation. You can also remove your hands from the situation. If it's just your hand that they're constantly just chomping on, Remove your hand from the situation and you're replacing that hand with something that they can chew on, something that they can exercise their mouth and their gums, right? So those are some of the things that you will do. And we're going to go over those in just a minute. I have a full basket here. Wow, no, it really wants out. Um, I think she wants in there with all the big pups. Um, so we're going to go over a bunch of things that we have that you guys can use for teething Um so your puppy needs to learn to self-entertain, right? So right now, everything is new. They've come home to us. They've had their siblings. They've had their mom. They had their other family. And now they don't know what to do with themselves. So we have to teach them that they can self-entertain. They need to self-soothe themselves, which is part of crate training and separation anxiety and teaching them alone time. Um, and so once they realize that nipping isn't working, they're going to eventually move on to something else, right? Because... That's what they're going to do. They are going to get bored of that. This breed gets bored really fast. So if this is boring because mom's out of the room and everything is taken away because I'm being bad, they're going to change that behavior. So it's also important to manage the place for your puppy. So you want to make sure you have a playpen. You want to make sure you have baby gates uh, somewhere that you can put them in to give them a break. If they're a crate, um, if, if they get too wound up, that is something that is super important. And we talk about that all of the time. So you guys have to have a plan and a schedule. Know what you're going to do when they have those behaviors and how all of you guys are going to correct it. Did, you, did I need to do something? Yeah, they can't see that on the screen. Oh, <laughs> they can't see. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So when should you be concerned about um, puppy biting? So... Hopefully we don't see this, but there are definitely some breeds and maybe even in Klikai where it is a concern that it's more than just um, learning how to associate or learn how to communicate with their mouse and explore the world. Um, so if you guys see these things that I list right now, you definitely want to talk to a certified professional, behaviorist, uh, trainer, somebody that is a little more educated, not me because that's not my forte. Um, but if you see growling, um, snapping, biting when people come near their food or their toys, so that's um, going to be something called resource guarding. And even if they're doing it while you're holding them and they're doing it to other people, that's another form of resource guarding. So they are, re they are guarding what they think they own their toys, their food, their bones, their human. Um, and so if you see anything like that, that is more than just the typical puppy play growl, um, anything where they are stiff and they're just staring at people and then they, they lunge and bite, that's another obvious thing. You know, puppy biting is one thing, but whenever they are acting ferocious and intent about biting, uh, that's a whole different ballgame. Um, so if, if they're snarling and snapping at children because you don't have children in the home, again, that's another behavior that you want to nip in the butt right away. And I would communicate with um, a, a trainer or a behaviorist. So that is the puppy chewing, right? It's, it goes hand in hand with teething, but not all chewing and, and chomping on our hands is actually related to teething. So puppies go through a stage 
a teething stage, just like toddlers do, where they start to lose their baby teeth. And so we're gonna go over that next. But before I jump into the next one, I wanna just take a few questions so that I don't get so far behind that I can't find everything. So give me a um, few minutes to answer some of these questions and then we will keep going. We have a lot to cover today. All right, oh, he was, apologize. All right, give me a second, I gotta roll through all this. Hi everybody, I love seeing everyone on here. Oh yeah, is anybody on here getting Ben's and Bentley? Um, it should, oh, I know that the family getting Bentley is not on here. Um, they told me they will not be on here for three weeks because they have soccer. Oh, and Diana is here. So she's getting bent. All right. Okay, first question. Are we able to see the Klikais before purchasing or being on a waiting list? Um, so it depends who you're dealing with. For us, our waiting list is currently closed. Um, we have opened it up two times um, since last September, and that is it. And it's only for a few people. Um, so unfortunately, our list is even closed and we do all of our stuff um, via the internet, FaceTime, or videos, all of that stuff. But you would have to talk to each breeder. All right, let's see. What are the best ways to stop your Alaskan Klikai from biting? So it's really what we talked about. Um, so when they are biting, you have to pull yourself away from the situation, replace your hand and clothing and legs with something that they can um, chew on. And so we're gonna go over all of those examples here in just a minute. Um, so you wanna stay tuned for all of that. All right, I like it when there's not a whole lot on here. All right, when will the wait list open up? <laughs> um, so, as of right now, our wait is uh, about 18 months. And so we are um, really not taking people, although we have had several people say they aren't gonna be ready until that long anyways. And so they are requesting for us to open it up. Very limited amount of time. Um, our people, I'm sorry, that we are letting in once a month. We opened it up already this month. It was full in 30 minutes, just so you guys know. Full, five people in 30 minutes. All right, so what are some chew toys treats that are good for teething? We, we have a whole bucket here of things we're gonna go over here. I just wanna try to get through the difference between what's just puppy play biting and versus actual teething, and then I'm gonna show you guys. All right, the safety chew, is it possible to buy just the holder or do you have to buy the whole starter kit? No, you can buy just the holder um, or you can buy a starter kit or you can just buy the replacement bags. And since you're asking Lauren, I'm gonna throw this up here real fast. So you can buy just this. I'm gonna leave it on so you guys can see the other puppies. Um, so you could buy just the holder, or you guys can buy these are just the bully stick. And see that I have a hole already pre-drilled. So they have a hole pre-drilled and I'm gonna go over that in just a minute because I'm gonna put the screen up and show you guys how easy it is. So we were very fortunate and got um, sent a starter pack by one of our puppy owners and we fell in love with it. And if you guys saw all of the pictures, um, if you're on our waiting list, I put, yeah. Can you make another one? Oh, you want me to put the other one on? Yeah, because you're in all of them. Um, then, you, <laughs> my husband said to move the camera because they were all down there. But now, of course, look, they're all over somewhere else. They're on a mission. They are on a mission. <laughs> There's a few of them. Uh-oh, uh -oh, there they go. There they go. Um, all right, I'm going to put that. So I'll show you guys how easy it is. But I fell in love with these things. The puppies hold them, the dogs hold them, and you don't have to worry about this little tiny bit. So do you see that little bit of bully stick that's left? 
So that is when you can pull out. I would probably still let them chew on this, but I took it so I could show you guys. Um, but as soon as it gets to the nub, then you just can take this out and replace it for the next time so that it will look like this. And it's pretty cool. I know a lot of people have heard horror stories about the bully sticks. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, and it getting to be this small and a choking hazard and trying to chase your dog to get it out of their mouth or they're running and you trying to, it, it's just a nightmare. So this is amazing. There are a couple different companies out there. I um, have tried the other one. It is not that great. It's very difficult to keep the um, things screwed together. And they actually, after a few times, the little teeth on the inside that you screw to tighten the bully stick, they wear off. And then before you know it, it's trash. So, so far I've had... <laughs> Somersault. Yeah. So I've had great success so far. I've had this one, the first one I've had for a long time. All right. We're all, yay. We're all caught up, I think. If I missed you guys, you'll have to send it again um, with another question mark. Okay. So that is quickly going over some of your questions. And now I want to continue on with the teething part. So when your puppy is teething, which is normally around four months old, um, they're going to start losing those baby teeth. So probably the month before that is when their gums start to get swollen. Um, things are sore because those canines are coming in and pushing out the baby teeth, just like humans, just like us, our kids. Um, and so they're sore, just like kids, how they put their hands in their mouth and they're, they're drooling and they're crying. Everything is sensitive and we just put aura gel or give them frozen stuff to put on there. Um, puppies do the same thing. So around three months old, they're going to start teething. Everything is going to hurt. So think about it. At eight weeks old, you bring your puppy home, you've nipped them in the butt. Now you finally stopped them from biting your hands. And now all of a sudden they are teething and their adult teeth are coming in. And you think you've just reversed back to the, where you were a month ago because they're chomping on everything again. But now it's different. Now they are actually trying to get the pain to go away. They're trying to soothe their gums and their teeth. Um, and so you're going to see a totally different behavior where they really are gnawing on everything. They're chomping down on things. They're destroying everything they can. If you guys look in that far, far, far corner, do you see my baseboard? The very bottom, you see the baseboards all chewed? Well, that's puppy teething, right? They're just chomping on the side of the wood. No, it wants out. You can just bring her and hold her for a little bit. I think she wants a break. Uh, Brayden said white ones were crazy last weekend. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sometimes they are. Not as crazy as the reds, but yes, sometimes they are. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so what do you guys think you can do for a puppy that is teething, right? We still want to reinforce that we don't want them chomping on our hands. Our hands are not their chew toys or their bones. So we're still going to behave the same when it comes to that. But we need to give our puppy something to help soothe these gums and these teeth coming in. So there's a lot of things that we can use um, to help them. And remember that before you guys just instantly start giving them all this stuff because they're teething, uh, some things you can do to really help your dog is to make sure you're still training, make sure you're still exercising mentally and physically, make sure they're still having their alone time and you're still going through the steps of everything else. A tired dog is a good dog. So if you have a tired dog and they have worked their gums a little bit, they're going to be less likely to be as destructive when they're teething. So don't forget that. Oh, the little buff ups. All right. So we talked about safety too. Now I have heard that some vets are saying to stay away from um, bully sticks that teeth have been cracked. I have been using bully sticks for quite a long time. I haven't experienced that. However, every dog is different. And so you'll just want to pay attention to see um, how your dog. <laughs> Did you see the black one? <laughs> he just flew. 
Um, and so you want to pay attention to that. And you also need to just talk to your vet and make sure, you know, that your vet's okay with that. You guys are not going to see me for a minute because I'm just going to put it on that low camera so that you could um, watch the puppies. <laughs> and so um, keep that in mind. You want to make sure that you guys talk to your vets. However, we love bully sticks. Um, they have become a, a huge lifesaver. You don't want to give too many. Look at them playing with that. That is hilarious. Uh, so a couple of other things to do. They have, I guess I have to put it on me too because I need to show them. Um, <laughs> I have to move it back so you guys can see what I'm going to show you guys. So they have these you can freeze these. These are teething rings, okay? They're kind of like toddler stuff. And they have these little bumps to help with their teeth and gums. And you can freeze this, and then it's really cold. You can also put treats in here, which is going to help them um, pull the treats out. So it's working their, their gums, and it's giving them something as a reward training, um, I'm sorry, as a treat for them. Um, I've also had in the past, but I think it's somewhere in the bucket, um, one that is really looks like a toddler one that has a little rag hanging off of the rubber part. And so you wet that rag part and you throw the whole thing in the freezer. So same concept. I just saw a question or somebody just asked about um, if you can give teething rings like you would a baby. Yes, but don't buy the ones for babies because if the puppy breaks that, um, I don't know what's inside of them and it could be toxic. So you want to make sure it is... Um, approved and for pets. Um, so another thing you can do is, you know, it, it doesn't even have to be that you're buying something. You can wet a wash rag, roll it up, throw it in the freezer. Okay. Let them chew on that. Of course, make sure it's something that is safe for them, that they're not going to pull strings and choke. Um, but you can use something like that, freeze it. So a couple of other things that I absolutely love is a Kong. And I freeze my Kongs, and I have a whole video on Kongs, but um, you can go back to that, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. But have a Kong. You can stuff it with all kinds of stuff, throw it in the freezer for a few hours, and then give them this. It's pretty soft rubber. So they have this they're going to chomp on, and it is going to – this has got lit on it. Um, it's going to be frozen, so it's going to be nice and cold, and it's going to really feel good on their gums, and they're going to get a meal or a treat out of it. The other trick you could do, I did this before. I think I showed you guys. I put a bully stick after I, sh after I filled my Kong, I shoved a bully stick in it and froze it. You want to talk about heaven. A Kong full of yummy goody stuff and a bully stick, um, great for them. So there are tons. I guess I should just put this up here. There are tons of toys, chew treats, bones that are all made for teething. Okay, so do you see how this has tons of different um, textures and little bumps? So similar to this, right, it has all of these little nubs. So these are all teething things that your dog is going to love to chew on. All right, another, this is from, um, Playology, and this is supposed to be really good. Mine have barely destroyed just the tip, and we've had this a really long time. And this is pretty soft, so you see how I can bend this? Um, so it feels really good because they can chew on it. They're not breaking anything off, at least as puppies they're not. Probably if Simba got a hold of it, he probably would destroy it. Um, but it just feels really good, okay, on their gums and teeth. Now... There's so many, guys. This is made for puppies. Looks just like one for a toddler, right? And you can freeze this or not freeze it. Now, here's a trick for you guys. Let's just say you're trying to give this to your puppy who's teething. And they want nothing to do with it. They're like, eh, no thanks. It's just plastic. What am I supposed to do with it? Put it in their dog food bag overnight so that, oops, ah, oh, made butter. Um, put it in the dog food bag overnight so that it'll absorb like the oils and smells from their food and then give it to them. You want to see them switch all of a sudden. They think there's food in there somehow if they chomp on it enough. Um, so you can always do that with anything. Put any of this stuff that you think, oh, they're not really interested. Um, do that and see if it makes a difference. 
I'm not gonna go and show you every single teething thing because there's tons of them, but you guys get the picture on that stuff. Now, there's also some bones that I love. I wanna show you guys a few. Okay, hooves, you guys have asked about this before. These are cow hooves, okay, so they are pretty hard, so it's gonna be similar to like a bully stick where it's hard and they're going, they'll eat this. Look at it, it's like literally a cow hoof. Um, so when this gets small, you also need to be careful and pull it, and I haven't seen a holder for a cow hoof. Um, but there are two newer bones that I really like, and they're really not real bones. This, I should put this on the big one. I'm going to put it on the big camera for you guys. So no puppies for a second. And let's see. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys, I buy a lot of stuff from Marshalls or Home Goods. If you guys have a Marshalls or a Home Goods, I want you guys to go and look in their pet section because this is um, dog wood from Pet Stages and it's made of real wood. Okay. It's safer and less messier than a lot of the chews out there. But this bone, I can't show it to you because it's in the play yard. The dogs love this. This is like $8.99 at Petco and PetSmart. I got it for $3.99. Four bucks, half price, more than half price. Um, so check out Marshalls. But Dogwood from Pet Stages is really good. And they're just sticks that they kind of look plasticky, but they're actually somehow made of wood. I don't know how they do it. But I put one of those in um, our basket, our raffle basket that we sent um, to the family who ended up winning. It was uh, Jenny Carr and her family. And they did a video when they opened everything up. And Sky loved that bone. Um, but I had already bought some for our dogs and they love them. So that's a great thing for you guys to get. There's also um, a couple other that really look plasticky that last forever. So Nylabone and um, Durabone, I think is the other one, Durabone. Um, they all last forever and they're not rawhide. Hi, mommy. <gasps> she want that? You want this? It's just a bone. She's like, I don't know what I want. Um, so lots of different bones. Now I, with my heavy chewers, I use antlers. Um, Keep in mind, these are really, really hard and dogs can chip their teeth. So you need to know what dogs have this and if they're super aggressive and they just don't stop chewing on this stuff, they can hurt themselves. Um, but the inside is a lot softer and they love these split antlers. Don't get the whole antlers because the whole antler is going to look just like this and it literally feels like ceramic. Um, but the inside, you can see where they're chomping on that. Do you see that? So again, keep in mind, everybody's different. I'm just telling you guys what works for me, but you need to know that it can damage some dog's teeth um, and actually crack their teeth. So be very careful with that. Okay. So what are some other options? You guys all know that I absolutely love my star mark balls and these star mark balls are amazing because I brought all this stuff over here. They're, they have the little balls for the teething, right? They're pretty flexible and soft, and you fill them with different treats. This one is made specifically for dental cleaning and teething, so it's really hard to put it in here because it's dry, but if you wet this, if you just run it over water, it'll slide right in, and this will sit in there. And this is probably my all-time favorite. I absolutely love this. Um, but right now they have bully sticks. So I'm letting them play with that. And then here's some other things for you guys. Lick mats. We talked about lick mats before. Um, but freeze these. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a lick mat. If you guys don't know what it is, look it up. Lick mats. There's tons of them. But what you're going to do is you're going to take some of their favorite there's tons of things you guys can make for Kong recipes, um, even if it's just mushed up food or raw food, um, yogurt and fruit and frozen carrots, all kinds of stuff that you can put in there. But you will 
basically it's going to be pretty pasty and you're going to smear it on these and freeze this. So it is going to take them a long time to get the food out. But do you see these little balls? So as they're getting all in here, it's working their gums. And do you see how flexible this is? It's very flexible and it feels really good on their mouth. And so this one actually sticks to the ground. So tons of different kinds. Um, but get a lick mat or two or three because that way you can just throw them in the freezer and pull one out at a time and then make a batch once a week or what have you. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. So those are some options for teething, okay? Your puppy will lose baby teeth. You will start to see um, blood maybe on the floor, on their toy, on their chew bone. And don't think that they instantly, let's see what the puppies are doing, um, hurt themselves. A lot of time what, what it is is that they're losing a baby tooth. <laughs> and so <laughs> those guys are having a blast in there. Um, so that's why you're going to see the blood because they are starting to lose baby teeth. Sometimes you won't even find it. All of a sudden they just have, it's just gone. And then there are times when um, you find a little tiny baby tooth somewhere in your house. Hopefully you don't step on it. Look at those babies. A little, oh, do you see that? So I wouldn't necessarily say that's tea. <laughs> that was <laughs> that wasn't necessarily teething, right? They're just playing and this is how they <coughs> communicate and get attention. I need to put myself on there. Um, aw, I need a, I need something where I can hit a button guys and move the camera. I'll let, I'll let this sit there. I'm going to answer some of your questions before I move on. Let's see, let me move all this stuff. Hi, Nala. Hi, Mama. Hi. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I haven't had that kind, um, but good to know. I have seen them, but I haven't gotten those just because I don't like all that messy stuff all over the place. Yeah, Jenny said she loves it. Oh, good. You guys. No more other questions. Okay, I can keep going. You guys were being quiet. Were you all listening? <laughs> all right, let's look over here, guys. What? There's Siggy and her babies. Although they're all over in a corner and Siggy's just chilling. <laughs> Of course, I'll get them all up close in just a little bit because we got to name them. Um, any other questions on TV? Oh, I see something. <laughs> all right, I apologize if this already went over this. I joined late. But I was wondering how you can tell the difference between teething versus puppy nipping versus problematic biting. Sarah bites constantly. Um, she reminds me, how old is she? She's probably, what, three and a half months? I'm pretty sure she's about three and a half months. Um, so she is probably in the teething stage. Now, if you've never been able to correct her from teething or I'm sorry for biting you in the beginning because I remember you talking about this before Tamara where she's constantly just ch chomping on your hands um, if you haven't been able to correct that since you've had her then you have a combination of things going on because she has never been taught that she cannot do that so now that she's teething she's going to do it even more so I'm not sure you need to tell me or 16 weeks She's definitely teething. So she's going to start losing baby teeth if she hasn't already. Um, and sometimes we don't know. You can even check her mouth and you'll start to see um, that, oh, she's got a new tooth coming in. So you probably need to ask yourself, have you been able to correct that old behavior? Um, and then you have to start all the way at the beginning. Now, she, at her age, she's definitely teething. Um, because usually around three months, they're going to start teething. You're going to start to see the 
the chomping on things and the um, gums are sore and tender and she's going to start losing teeth right around four months. If she hasn't already, she's going to soon. So make sure that you are giving her a lot of things to help soothe that, but make sure you do not give her your hands and always take it away. So if she's still doing that to you guys, you have to remove yourselves from the situation. Um, as long as you continue to re, um, reaffirm that behavior, she's going to continue to do it. And a tired dog is a good dog. So make sure she's tired, um, make sure she's well rested, and make sure she has lots of teeth and things because she is definitely peeing. All right, Carolyn's asking how Diamond's doing. Diamond's good. So we have our hands full right now with obviously these puppies, Siggy's puppies, Nala's puppy, you guys, Sasha's puppy. So they're out. Diamond is due in a week though. She's getting pretty big. Everyone from the reunion saw her. Um, but she's doing great, yeah. All right, when does teething start and how long? So we just talked about that, so I'm not gonna go over that again. Um, All right, uh, this is James, you, I, you might be new on here, but you gotta make sure you put three question marks before if they haven't already told you that. Um, but um, these puppies are all spoken for. So our waiting list is actually closed and these puppies are um, six and almost six and seven weeks old. So they go home in a week or a week and a half. All right, so that is it for the puppy teething and how to identify like is it just your typical this is how i behave with mom and siblings versus teething um, um and then how to correct it and some of the things that you guys can get now remember you can also get i should have done that i should have showed you guys you can also get something like this so this is one of our favorite favorite toys um, and it's on a long leash. We call it a fishing pole, but this is something that you're going to be able to use to redirect. So let's just say that you are trying to redirect your puppy from chomping on your hand and it's not, they're not necessarily teething. They're just playing, right? So you should have something like that. You should have a tug toy that you have always available so that you are replacing that hand. See, look at the bed. <laughs> Uh, so you can replace your hand with something that they can chew on and tease. And if you make sure that it's long enough so that if you are doing something where you're holding one end that they don't actually get your hand, that's great. You need to uh, make sure that they don't accidentally hit your hands. So the other thing you guys can do, okay, I'll leave the little thing on there, is to, oh my God, I just lost my train of thought. Hmm. It'll come back to me. I forgot. Sorry. My brain is, oh, they're tired. All right, so since they're all asleep, then let's show you guys the puppies. Oh, they're all sleeping too. All right, I'm going to go up close um, and give you, show you guys um, the newborns because we have two litters to name. Do you guys remember the name game? So we have two litters. You can put her away. What other babies? Fine. Um, we have to name these four puppies here, and we also have to name Nala's little girl. So Siggy has four puppies. There's two boys and two girls, um, and they need to start with um, the letter E. So I'm going to need the letter E. There's going to be two boys, two girls. Don't put them in yet. Okay, please don't put them in yet. And I am going to see if um, who we can get to name them. So we have two letters. I'm going to pick two of you guys to name them. Um, Sue Smith, are you still on here? Sue Smith and Heather. Um, Heather Catalan? Catalan? If you guys are on here, if you guys um, want to name puppies, please. Uh, Heather, if you can name Nala's puppy, we'll get to her after. Okay. 
Um, oh, yes. Yeah, you're right. My husband's reminding me. Okay, so Sue is here. Okay, so Sue, you're going to pick the names for um, Siggy's puppies. So as of right now, I'm going to grab them. And while I show you, then um, you can um, have everybody put the names in the comments below. And then you get to pick your four favorites. Okay, so we're going to start with E's. I'm going to switch this camera. I'm going to bring them up close for you guys and um, show you the boys and the girls. Oh, yeah. I forgot you're right here. Yes. He's going to bring them right here so I can show you guys. Um, so she has two gray boys and then a black and white girl and a gray and white girl. And I will say the gray and white girl is very different from what we've seen um, in the past. She's got a very open, open mass. Okay. So this is the girl that's gray. Now do you see how much white she has? Look at all that white. She also has a white spot on her back, really on her neck, which is definitely not breed quality, <laughs> right? If you guys know anything about the breed, we prefer a better mask than that, and we don't want a white mark on the back. So Simba and Siggy, last time they didn't do that. Can you give me, here, put that one back. And then, and then get me the black and white so I could give the other girl. What's the matter, Papa? And then this is one of the boys. He says, where's my mom? You guys can hear him, I'm sure. <laughs> Do you guys notice I fixed my camera? It's focusing again. My husband has to climb into the pen every single time to get these puppies, so it's not easy for him to get them all. All right. Can you give him the back? Give me this one. All right, okay, okay. All right, this is the other girl. Black and white girl. And then the boy, the last boy. So two gray boys. <laughs> they have pretty similar markings. Just blue mask all the way down. Gray and black. Aw, he yawned. <laughs> Are we boring you? Huh? Are we boring you? All right. So I'm going to let um, let you guys keep going there. Hopefully Sue is writing all of those down. Sue, do me a favor. Once you have all four names, if you could put them in one comment for me, and then um, that way I could write it down because otherwise I have to go hunt and pick later on. And then uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and say now we can move on. So Nala's litter. I need Nala's puppy now, baby. Okay. You need her puppy? Yeah, you could let her out too. But I'm going to let them see again because we have to name her. Um, so Nala's puppy is a gray and white girl, and she's the letter F, 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 F. So I need F names, and um, Heather gets to pick the F name for Nala's baby. And then as soon as we're done with this, then we're going to pick a winner for the safety treat. So I'm going to send a... Starter kit to somebody um, in just a few minutes once we get this done. And then we'll see all the other babies. Make sure Nala's puppy has a really cute name. She's a special girl. 
thank you for the super chat, Fabian. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Thank you. All right, little bit. Bit. Okay. So here's our little girl. All right, that's the baby. Hi, Mama. Is this your baby? Is this your baby? Is this your baby? Is this your baby? Aw, thank you. All right. Good? Yeah. Well, you don't have to clean her while I'm holding her. Give me the ink. You got her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I know. I thought the same thing. Everybody is going to be like, oh my God. Um, let's see. Oh, flower. That's cute. Freedom's cute. I got to look at these ones because Nala's got a baby and I'm so excited. Um. Are you gonna keep Nala's puppy or adopt her out? No, I'm not gonna keep her. My hands are full, guys. I, I, I can't keep any puppies right now. I just have too much, too much. I don't even know if I'm coming or going. So, no, he'll be offered to the list. And I know there's people like so excited, um, but yeah, he was just born, so. It'll be a little bit. Okay, so I'm hoping that everybody is done putting Fs. Nope, they're still coming. I don't know why. I don't know how to get this going. I, I clicked on this on accident. Oh, I got it. Aw, oh, Foxy. A lot of Fiona's. Oh, no. All right, so while you guys are still figuring that out, you girls let me know whenever you have um, put the names in the comments for me. And then I'm going to send a packet to somebody. So the person that I'm picking today is somebody who is on here every week, dedicated, always asks so many questions. Um, she is on our waiting list. She has been for a little bit now. And um, I'm just thankful for her because she's always on here. She always asks her all the questions. She's engaged. And so this is going to go to Tanya. So Tanya, congratulations. We will send you out your first bully stick. So you're going to have a bully stick um, kit before you even have your puppy. But you'll be prepared. So thank you for always supporting our channel and being on here every single week and always asking the questions. All right. Now it's time for Sasha's baby. <laughs> Please. You're welcome. You are so welcome. Um, so I'm so glad the babies are sleeping. It's quiet. You should have heard them earlier. I'm going to give you guys, I know we're going to have time. So I'm going to give you guys a, a sneak peek of what, <laughs> what it sounds like when I go in there. Um, okay, so real fast. I'm going to tell you the brand and what's the code. I'm going to tell you guys, it is Safety Chew, and I'll put it on the site here in just a second. Safety Chew, okay? So it's just safetychew.com, and I'll put it up here. And the code is um, Kika, K-I-K-A-10, Kika10, and that'll get you guys 10% off. Um, and then, oh, my husband's got babies. Um, let me put this on here. All right. 
Okay. Laura Fernala's pup. Yay! Okay. <laughs> hey, look who's on here. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are on here. Um, all right, I have other puppies I'm going to show you guys, but since I saw this question come up, uh, Kimberly's asking, uh, just wondering what the size of my AKK will be. My breeder doesn't know if she will be a mini, a toy, or a standard. Her mom is a toy, her dad is a mini. At eight weeks, she's 4.2 pounds. At 18 weeks, she is 8.2 pounds. Um, Kim, I would suggest that you go back to, I did a video, a live stream actually, uh, I wanna say maybe last month, and um, I gave you guys on that live stream, I actually gave you guys a website and we did a bunch of fun little um, comparisons where you plug in some numbers and it will give you guys some more information. And I did find that the Palmski was a little more accurate, um, but it sounds to me that your puppy is right at the same as River is. Um, and my guess is, I don't know what his height is. So keep in mind, Klee Pie are not um, classified by their weight. They're classified by their height. So if you have a really long, t lengthy, skinny dog, um, they could really grow a lot more but I don't know for sure. So you would need to go onto that and see, but your breeder um, should be able to help you unless they're a pretty new breeder. Um, my guess is that your puppy is probably gonna be a large mini to a small standard, but that's without me even seeing your dog. All right. I'm going to show you. So these are Sasha's puppies for you guys that they're still out. Uh, for those of you who are on the waiting list. All right, this was one of the boys. And you're going to have to forgive me because I don't have my book to tell you which one's which. But you could see he has um, the party eye. Oh yeah, he does have a party eye. In there, in that eye right there. In this eye, he has a party eye. It's really small, but it's there because you can see how his pupil is a lot uh, bigger. So it looks like it. His pupil's big, but it actually has a party eye in there. You know how some of the puppies you could see really bright blue, and in his you don't. See how dark it is? I was on the bottom of that pupil. Pretty sure he has a party eye. And this is his twin, almost. He's a little bit bigger, um, but their markings are very similar. Yeah. So do you see how much bluer his eyes look compared to his? That'll help you guys see it. So do you see how he has that darkness on this eye? <laughs> and he's smaller. But there's the two gray boys, pretty close in coloring. Um, but he has a littler head, weighs a little bit less. And then we have our one and only girl. Can I give you? Oh, I yeah. can't. I'm going to give you one at least. I can't hold everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just start talking. Okay. All right. Our little girl. We only have one girl, remember? Thank you, Stacy. So we have one little girl, gray and white. Where are you going? She's like, where are you going? We're going that way. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Look, there's your brother. They already have names, in case you guys are wondering. Um, I'll take the black one and then you can put these guys back. Thank you. So, last one. Black and white. They have really thick coats. Do you see how fluffy their coats are at a young age? Pretty fluffy. Uh, they got introduced to the litter boxes today. So if you see that little stuff right there, that's because they were trampling through the litter box a little bit ago. But here's the black and white boy. Come on. Hmm. 
I'm so happy my camera's focusing. Um, I see Joseph's asking about their names. This is the sea litter. Um, Cooper, Catherine, you named them. Cooper, Carter, Carly, and Cole. Cole's the black. Carly's the only girl. And then Cooper and Carter, I would have to look. I can't remember. Yeah. That's the babies. Um, Stacy, did you have... Uh, <laughs> she loves the party. Hi. <laughs> did you have a question? No. Okay. Let's see. Lauren is saying... Um, that she's on the safety two website and I cannot find just the holder. Okay, I know that, um, Anthony, are you on here? Um, I'm pretty sure safety two is on here. If you're on here, can you um, help us out? Because we have somebody who's trying to get just the holder and I know we can get just the holder. Um, so can you let us know how to do that? If not, then I can um, reach out to them. But hopefully they're on here. All right, let's go see. So now I have to wake up the brats, huh? So you guys can see them. Look at how they're all sleeping. Everybody out like a light. Oh, look at guys. Look at, look at the puppy. He's going to start. He's trying to climb on Siggy. So that's Sig for those of you who. Um. <laughs> I was hoping that they were going to be on this side by the light. Big move before I could see them. All right. Well, they're out. I'm going to go inside the playroom for you guys and put all of the big puppies up close. You could see everybody. Um, I don't see any other questions, right? I think we're good. Honey, I'm going to go inside and show them the puppies in here. Okay? You can run the show? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go see everybody. I know you guys want to see your pup pups. Let me just tell you what. Want me to grab them? I can grab them. I'm right here. Guys, you guys didn't even tell me to show you Jazz's puppies again. Oh, they're starting to wake up. Okay, so we already named Jazz's litter. Um, so we have two girls and one boy. They're already named. I'm just showing you guys because they're only they're barely three weeks old. Almost three weeks old. So we have her. She looks double blue. And then we have her, who's a little smaller. You can see her head smaller. And she's just a bright light. So do you see that eye, how blue it is? And then look at this eye. Do you see the inside corner is blue, but then it's pretty dark. So look at the difference. See that? That's how you guys can tell party eye or it's going to turn brown. That's the girls. And then um, my little baby boy, 
Remember last week I was telling you guys that, um, that I had one who was not doing very good. He wasn't feeling good. I took him to the doctors. He has a cold. This is my little boy. And <laughs> hi, I see you. Oh, now he thinks he's going to nurse on me. You can't nurse on me, goofball. Can you guys hear that? Look. <laughs> so he's only one pound, five ounces. So he had a cold. So I have to help make sure he's getting his medicine every day, twice a day. But I also have to um, make sure he's eating enough. So I was um, supplementing him. The girls that were here for the uh, reunion got to see me feeding him. So he's on antibiotics. We don't know how he has a cold, but he does. So he's a little congested, but he seems to be doing pretty good. And Nala, by the way, loves him. She wants to take him on. Um, so she's kind of helping me now. I don't have to make formula anymore to give Nala. And she feeds him in addition to his mom feeding him. All right, there. Now you guys saw those babies. I totally forgot about them. They're right behind me. Yeah, do you see this creep? Honey, I wanna you wanna put her um, put him with Nala for me? He's trying to nurse on me, so let Nala have him. All right. Oh she's at the the screen. Oh okay, put her back. Put him put her back with me. Alright, I'm going in now. Playroom is they're up. They're awake. Let me show you the babies. Okay, babies. for it to get loud. I know. You're like, Mom! Mom! Remember, my camera's really low since I haven't been in here, so I yeah. have to really climb down here. Um, I know, I see you guys. I see you, I see you. You act like you're evil to me. Let me try to show you guys. Okay, cool. All right, I guess you're first, because you're up here. We do Alice first because she jumped on me first. Maybe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> She's like, why are you holding me like that? <laughs> calm down, Missy, calm down. <laughs> All right, there's Alice. I don't remember who's on here, so I don't know if everybody who's giving me feedies is on. Oh, you're back, huh? You're back. You're back. Yeah, you're back. All right. Aladdin. Here he is. The only boy from her litter. Hold on, buddy. She's like, why are we not... <laughs> Destroy the garbage. Here, here. Come over. Come over. Your parents probably are on here. They probably want to see you. There. It's a boy. <laughs> good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. All right. Okay, little princess Pepper. Little princess Pepper. Pepper's her new name. That's my necklace. That's my necklace. That's my shirt. My goodness. Um, her name was Aurora. Huh. Oh, pretty, you see yourself. So I have the um, TV right here so they could see the live, and she sees herself. <laughs> so she's a, a lighter gray. And then Ariel. Hi, I see you guys. I see you. Yeah, I know. I know, buddy. I know. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Look 
That's like your sister did. No. <laughs> She's going to look down because they're right there. Hold on, Misty. Hold on, Misty. Hold on, Misty. She's like, I'm not gonna look. There. There you go. You look sad. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, put me down. Okay, now the boys. The big boys. So for those of you who don't know, who haven't been on here lately, these two big black boys are actually, let me see my necklace here, five days younger. Five days younger than these guys. Isn't that crazy? All right, so this is the blue collar boy, which is Bentley. Let's see if I can get this. He's big. He's a lot harder to hold the way I was holding the other ones. Can you make a sound? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Going down, where are those babies go? Um, they are like five pounds already, like 60 kilos. And then my monster, even bigger. Okay, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, I can't. Is Ben's, and he is over, I think he's like four or five ounces bigger. It's Ben. Sit down right back over there, Misty. There, that was better. You look good. Let's see. I gotta get on calm for a second. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's better. Brayden says, Mom, what should I get for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually he's off getting us dinner right now, but no, he's gone. Okay, do you see how big his head is? I'm gonna hold it there so you guys can see. Here we go. Let's see if I can hold this. Here we go. Oh my gosh, you, you guys are crazy. Um, I need to go out of here now. Yeah. Yeah. Probably gonna get loud. I'm just saying, because I'm gonna walk out and they're not gonna be happy because this is what they want right here. You guys can't see my face if I stay in here. Huh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Huh. Where's the big boys? One's over there. Oh, one's here. All right. I'm coming over there now. Stay, stay, stay. Get your bones because I already know what you're gonna do. Hey, we, we're just now talking about that teething and biting, and you're biting. That is not teething here. So this little white one was just chomping on my hand, so I have to take my hand away and give her something else. And if they don't stop, then that's when I ignore them and walk out of the room. Here, have your bones because you guys are gonna scream right now. I don't. Then they now we need to get back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what happened? Is it frozen? Okay, let's see. Wow, they were actually quite a quiet. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. Um, they earlier they were screaming, screaming. All right, let's see what can what kind of questions we have. Do we have any questions? Okay, did you guys like that? You got to see all the babies. A lot of babies. Yes. Full. Of Sustain. Who is that? Oh. 
<laughs> Look at this one. So Siggy's over here like, I'm just going to mess up my bed. <laughs> Siggy, no, no. I'm watching you. Will we see the D letter soon? Oh, she did ask. <laughs> yeah, that was the one that I that I forgot. I like that angle. Yeah, this one's a good angle. All right, Stacy has a question. Uh, Apache has gotten better with biting, but still mouthy. Will that improve once he loses all his baby teeth? Um, it's only going to improve if you are um, doing your part to make sure. Oh, wait, when you say mouthy, um, help me understand, Stacy. Do you mean mouthy as in vocal, or do you mean mouthy just kind of putting his, his mouth on your hands and stuff but not biting down? I think that's what you're meaning. Uh, let me know for sure so I could help answer that. <sighs> They're all hiding over there. Oh, there goes one of them. Most of them are in there. Virtual Hulk. <laughs> all right, what color eyes? Oh, on the little ones. I, honestly, Carolyn, um, they just open their eyes, so I don't know for sure. I mean, you see a lot of blue in there. I could see a lot of blue, but it's too hard um, to know for sure right now. They're still kind of young. <laughs> um, do you think the Bully Grip Bully Stick holder is good? If that's the one that's on Alexa, uh, on, on, on Amazon Alexis um, or Alexia, then I was not a fan. If that's the one that I think you're talking about, it's the one where you, it has the little teeth in the center and you, you spin it to tighten it. Um, the little teeth break off or wear down and the bully stick comes out. So it wasn't my favorite. But I've had the safety chew one for quite a while now. Oh, okay, Tanya. Thank you for, I see that. <laughs> yeah, you guys all get to see your babies. Okay. I don't know, everybody. What should Brayden get us from dinner, for dinner? He could, couldn't he order us food? He could have surprised us and ordered us food. Had it delivered. Oh. I thought that um, you sold that. Okay. Who, who was that? Who wanted that? Oh, Lauren, okay. In and out. He said in and out. Brayden every week would say, in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is the first time catching one of your streams and I wish I could stay longer, but I'm on the East Coast. Yeah. All right, thank you for coming. I'm sure you're probably gone already. I don't have a lot of questions. This is good. I get to keep going. All right, one more. Uh, what size bully sticks are the pups chewing on right now? Jumbo, um, regular, thick, or jumbo? They are on the regular um, ones. They are just the regular size six inch. So I'll show you. See that six inch regular? And for little puppies, they last a long time. Um, oh, Tanya. They were born on
they I think they're two weeks and one day pretty sure they were born on a Wednesday um, the day before the live so I think they're two weeks yesterday that's why they have their eyes barely open have you tried have you tried um, Uh, Robin's asking if I've tried putting the regular bully sticks into them. Um, I have not um, tried to put a regular bully stick in them. Um, you, because you have to have a hole if you want your stick to drill in. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So I wanted you to see the babies real fast up close. So that is little Ben's. Thank you, Diana. Um but I wanted to show you, and I'm gonna put the <laughs> I'm gonna put the camera on here. <laughs> oh, this is my life right here, guys. You guys only get to see the fun part. You don't get to see all the poop and pee and messes that they make. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you real fast, and then I'll come back to them so that you guys can see this up close. Okay, there's also a video, um, they made a YouTube video, and it is on the description in this video, but do you see this little rubber right here? So you pull this aside, and then do you see that? So on this side, do you see this pin? So what you do is you take this little rubber with one finger, and you're pushing it to the side, and you're using your other finger, and you're pushing the pin um, so that it, so do you see now it's behind this black rubber? So this black rubber serves as like a safety lock so the dogs cannot pull this pin out. So once you see that, now I've pushed that through. So now I can take this pin and I don't even have to pull it all the way out. Um, but now it releases this. So do you see the hole? So these all come pre-drilled with a hole and now I'm ready to put another one in, which of course, make sure you guys don't give your dogs too many bully sticks. Um, but because somebody's asking me, I have a bully stick that doesn't have a hole. All right, let's see, will it fit? So yes, so it's the same size it looks like. So it'll fit in there, um, but there's no hole. So it won't lock, so it doesn't work. But I want to show you how easy these are. And I'll be honest with you guys, these bully sticks, I, I, I spend a lot of money on bully sticks, a lot. Like the other, the bag I have, it's $100 on Amazon for my bag of bully sticks. Um, these are about the same price and they're already ready. So. So here's the whole, let's see, I just opened this package so you guys can see. All right, so now I just put this in here while I'm pushing the pen. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see. So I push that in and, oh, look at that. Okay, and then the only thing you want to make sure is that this pen goes all the way in so I can't to choke on this tiny little piece. But I have a lot of pictures I'm going to show you guys. This is this is what keeps me. Um, hopefully you guys can all see me because my other computer keeps thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, but I'm going to show you a couple pictures. The puppies absolutely loved holding this with their paws, um, which one of the pictures that is on the um, thumbnail for this video, you guys could see. But I'm going to leave it on this camera real fast so I can, so I can show you. Wow, maybe. Where's my folder? Okay, fine. I'll put it over here. So do you see the dogs that are busy bodies? They all have bully sticks. Wow. I'm gonna let you guys look at them while I find this these pictures to share with you. And I'll 
answer your question in just a minute. I'm just going to dump a few in there so you guys can see these. Yesterday, I took a bunch of pictures of the puppies because um, I had to update all of you that are on our waiting list. And I gave them the bully sticks because that was Alexis's idea since they were going crazy. And I got some awesome ones. You know what I love is this right here. They, they actually can, is it showing? Yeah. The bully stick stands up for them um, so that they could just chew on it. And I know a lot of you guys got these at the party last weekend and I saw a bunch of videos on um, Instagram, but look at that. So it literally just stands up for them not that we're trying to create lazy dogs or anything, but it just makes it a lot easier for them to eat the, the bully stick and not be smeared all over the place. Um, so, yeah, I love them. <laughs> all right, that'll do it on the pictures. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, I know Sue has a question. Um, should you watch them with the bully sticks with the holder or can you give it to them at night when you go to sleep? I wouldn't um, give it to them at night when they go to sleep uh, for a few reasons because it's it's a pretty big bully stick um, for a little puppy especially. But you don't want them to have too much to eat late at night because they're going to have to go potty. So. This is something that I don't necessarily sit and watch with them because I feel comfortable um, knowing that, especially these little puppies, they are not going to be able to eat this whole bully stick. Um, they're not going to be able to get it out of that holder. I've tested it with my big dogs that so far nobody has gotten through it. But it's not something I'm going to give them at night. So I don't necessarily have to watch them. I can put them in there with the bones and walk away, but I won't give it to them at night. What's too many bully sticks? Aw, thank you guys. All right, that's it, right? Now I need to show you guys the puppy reunion. So we had a puppy reunion last week and um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yes. I, I didn't even think about that, but you can even put ice in their water and they'll um, bob for it and they'll chomp on ice. When, in the summertime, we filled up a whole pool with ice and the dogs went crazy on it. So yes, ice is good. Um, it, that's not it, honey. That one's the wrong one. So I'm going to show you guys the reunion picture. We had... 28, um, 28 dogs plus ours. So 28 dogs came and one of them was not a clique high. One of them was, um, Judy has two dogs. She has a clique high from us and she has an Eskimo. So we had one Esky out of those 28 dogs, 27 clique high of all ages, even all the way back from like 2000 and 12, I think. Um, surprisingly, the dogs did very well. Most of them all got along and played very well. We did have a few not so nice uh, dogs. One, by the way, I hate to say was Taz. <laughs> he was not always a good boy. Um, but he was awesome. We had a great time and it went so well that we're going to do it every year, I think. At least that's the plan. I made a folder for the live and I put the pictures in there and now I can't find the folder. So I'm trying to find it. I wonder if it's because it's over there. 
Um, but if you guys did show up and you're on here, thank you again for coming. I know Catherine and Oh, let's see. Catherine had to fly in. Jenny flew in with her family and um, Aaron and Jack flew in. Where am I? Oh, here we go. All right, here's the photo. So we, we tried to social distance. Oh, that's not even with me in that one. Uh, let's see. There we are. A few people had left whenever we did this, but yeah, it was fun. It was a blast. Oh, one baby boy is tired. <laughs> well, what else? What else we got? I think that's it. Right? Wow, I breezed through that. I know. That's why I left it on there. So do you see them with those glue sticks? Yeah. I'm telling you, that keeps us sane. I know, but guess what? Next year you'll have a puppy. Um, it was a blast. It was really good to see everybody and see how the dogs were. And one thing that we, we kind of laugh about, but we honestly think it's, it's really true, is that this breed is um, partial to their own. So I'm trying to say this in a good way. They, they really enjoy company from other Klikai or Northern breeds. They feel like that's their family um, and other breeds, they aren't always um, as well behaved, I guess I would say, as they are when they're with each other. Um, they're pack animals, but they just know that they're the same. And a lot of times they, they go by color. So we were laughing because there was a group of gray dogs or there was a group of black dogs and then there was the red dogs and they were each in their own little group playing uh, but it was fun it was a lot of fun all right let's see what siggy's doing oh now that she's destroyed her bed <laughs> she says yeah i don't want that that thing needs to go <laughs> i should move that up a little i'm gonna move it for you guys seem a little better. I have to have the light on in there and that's why the light is pretty bright. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to see if there's any other questions and if there isn't, we'll call it a night. Let's see. I know I saw there was somebody. Mm. You do? Spencer, I might have missed it, but what's the shelf life of bully sticks? Oh, got me. Uh, I think they probably last a long time, but honestly, I'm not sure. I'm looking to see if they have one on here. Um, the ones from Safety Chew, they are free range and grass. They're from free range and grass fed um, animals. If you guys do not know what a bully stick is, uh, Google it. I 
know that there's a something inside. It doesn't say. Oh, I don't know if it's in the little paper on the inside, uh, but I'm not sure, Spencer. I've never had them long enough to worry about that. Do you think the pups remember each other? Um, I think that some of them do. Um, I know some of them remember our home or our voice too, which was really cool. Oh, okay, awesome. So Andrew, um, or not, who was that? No, who, who was it that asked that? Oh, uh, Spencer. Oh yeah, Spencer, Spencer asked. So did you see that, Spencer? Um, Safety 2 says they guarantee it for at least 18 months. Um, so a long time. I didn't think they would go bad anytime soon. Um, Lindsay Diamond's due next week. Just remember, their first due date, they could be a day or two before. It could be up to a week afterwards. So sometime coming soon. <laughs> See how good they are? Oh, life is good right now. All right. So what do you do if your dog likes biting you because they uh, think it's play whenever they get overexcited? So when you come home or when you approach your dog, you for one, you never want to be overexcited or overstimulate your dog. So it's not like, oh, hi, baby, baby, I'm home, I'm home. You really need to make it more of no big deal. So when you come in, it's like you just put your stuff down and then you go about your business and then you go in in and uh, and say hi to your pup and acknowledge them, but you're not making a big deal out of it. And then if your dog is biting, it's going to be the same situation. It's going to be removing yourself or your hand or whatever it is they're chewing on out of the situation and give them something in place of it. And if they don't, then you have to ignore them completely. So you are walking away from the room and everything that goes with it. If your dog continues to do that, um, even whenever you are consistently trying to train them and it just isn't working, then your dog is probably tired or they're dealing with other issues. Um, but if you're consistent, it's going to stop it within a couple of days. It should stop it. Everybody has to be on the same page though. Let's go back and see. I'm glad they're all quiet. <laughs> Sig's still out. Oh, oh my goodness. Does it need me? Hello? Oh no, it doesn't. I thought I saw muted. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Hi, Diana. Welcome. Yes, we opened up the waiting list in DC. We let a few people in, and uh, Diana, you guys were one of the lucky ones. How are our brown eyes, um, by the way? They are not very rare. I mean, it just depends on the parent dogs. Um, we, we do produce more blue-eyed puppies than brown-eyed puppies, but we do produce brown eyes. Yes, you did, Emily. After it's over, you can go back and watch it. Um, if you are new, like Diana, do me a favor, guys, and hit that thumbs up for us. Um, just so that YouTube knows that you guys are enjoying the show. I do want to give a, another shout out to, um, to Safety Chew um, and just uh, say thank you for sponsoring this video and for offering all of our viewers a discount. So um, if you guys are interested in getting a Safety Chew uh, starter package, then go onto their website, safetychew.com. And whenever you uh, place your order, put in the discount code KIKA10 and that will get you 10% off your order. Um, and then hopefully I will talk to Anthony about possibly selling just the holders. 
Um, but I can understand why they don't uh, now that I really think about it because, um, of course, they want to sell the whole kit and they don't want you to buy product from somewhere else and make your own hole. <laughs> so kind of makes sense. Uh, Leslie is asking, as we get into warmer weather, what's the maximum degree of heat that this breed can deal with comfortably? Oh, um, I mean, they're not an outside breed, Leslie, so they don't want to stay outside. Uh, they really just want to go out, go potty, do their thing, bask in the sun for a little bit, and then come back in. So they want to be with you. I mean, it gets pretty hot here in Riverside, um, and there are times when they are they don't care that it's pretty warm out there and they're laying in the sun. But you just want to make sure that they have adequate shelter, you know, coverage. We have misters in the play yard, and it's all sheltered and covered from the sun. But I would say comfortably, probably 80, 85. They'll probably hang out for a long time. Once it gets a little warmer and humid, then it's, they, it does get hot, but they don't want to stay out anyways. So let's see. <laughs> well, the good news is we have a house full, Michelle. You're moving up. Catherine, oh, yeah, yeah, you guys are too funny. Did you guys enjoy today? I hope you did. Um, I'm going to go inside there so I could say goodbye because... It's nice and quiet. I think we're done. What do you think? Yeah. Because we don't have a kid here to get us dinner tonight. <laughs> so, as always, um, oh, Whitney's asking a question. I see it. Let me see. Whitney asked, um, do gray and whites with blue eyes cost more than gray and whites with brown eyes? Yes. All of our blue-eyed puppies cost more than our brown-eyed puppies. Um, so... I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go in there and say goodbye with the babies because that's what we always do. And then, you know, you're here and you got to hit it twice. Yeah. Okay. That way you guys can see the mom again. I know. I know. I know. Come on, let's go say goodbye. Get them all together. I'm Round dry. up the herd. If I can get, I can. There's no way I can hold those black puppies too because they are too heavy. But I'm gonna hold these guys and we'll see if I can get them up to two. All right. As always, you guys. He's hugging them. Look at him. Can you see when he's hugging them? He's hugging them. Thank you guys so much for supporting our channel and for tuning in every single week and being engaged. I appreciate it. Thanks again to Safety. Chew and we will see you guys next time. Bye.